What's up YouTube? It's Sauce Outdoor Live. Today we've got another product review. Actually, we got three. Is it three? Yeah, three. Three. My bad. But today we're going to go over three products that I encourage everybody to buy this year. Stick around. All right, first things first is this H2O Express. This is Academy's brand of lures. And from what I saw, they look like they're really good lures. First thing, uh, first impression is it is th four joint, it's actually three jointed. So, as this bait is swimming in the water, it's actually going to mimic swimming bluegills. Uh, one thing I like about it is it does have rubber as the gills and your fins. Uh, the tail is even rubberized. And yeah, it's just really good quality. I love the hook. Hooks are stout. Uh, just a close up so y'all can see. Those colors are beautiful. They done a good job on their colors. And it's going to be the same on both sides. So as you're reeling this in, this is just going to move in this joints. So it'll actually mimic actual fish swimming. All right, that's the first one. Second one, love this knife for opening stuff. That's about it. Uh, if you haven't checked out our review on this field pup knife, I will leave a, a link uh, at the end of this video. Go and check that out, and it'll tell you, it'll be a review on what I, my thoughts are on this field pup one knife by SOG. But these are three lures that every fisherman, every beginner should ever have. And why I say beginner is literally, if you don't have one of these colors in your tackle box, there's something wrong. Uh, these, right now bass are tearing these up in Alabama. Just this green, kind of green top with that orange belly on it. Uh, Rapala makes some awesome lures. I'm a huge fan of Rapala. And the good thing about these Rapala is, let me find it, it'll dive up to six feet. Let me put the top back on so you can actually see that. As you can see, dives to six feet of water. So the more you crank it, the deeper it goes. Another that is a good beginner's bass lure. Come on, look. There we go. The third one is one I've not really used a whole lot. I've used some similar to it. Again, if y'all hadn't checked out that review on that field pump knife, go check it out. Ow. Now, this is another crankbait, another green. This is a black top with a mixture of a red and green underbelly. Uh, Strike King, they are a well-known brand. I do recommend their products as much as I do Rapala. Uh, I love their hooks. They're really, really sharp. I about had one stuck in my finger just a minute ago getting this thing out of here. Uh, the deep bill makes it swim a little bit deeper. This one right here will go, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it'll do 12 feet. So you can go up to 12 feet with this crankbait. So if you're fishing and bass are just 
not wanting to cooperate, and they're really, really deep, this will get down there to them. Uh, if you're in any deeper, you'd want to go to a bigger size crankbait, of course. But this is just a good, deeper crankbait that's still not obnoxiously big. Um, the other one's more for shallow fishing lures, or shallow fish. I don't know why I said lures. Oh, but anyway, um, but this one will get down there deeper. About it'll actually do double the depth of that Rapala, which is a really good thing in case you know you can't get to them with the Rapala. You have this one, and like I said, in Alabama right now, we are crushing it with these green crankbaits. Uh, I tried a couple red crankbaits and yeah they just wasn't doing the trick but this green one uh but let's dive back up and i'll give you my overview and we will also leave a uh, link down in the description below to where you can find these lures I will... all right so back up uh my personal opinion if you're just starting out or you hadn't been fishing in a while or anything like that. I hope these inspire you to go out and try catching some 10 pounders and plus. I hope you catch a 12 pound bass. But overall, I am really pleased with these lures. Um, I haven't got to try them out yet. I was going to go, yeah, just looking over all these lures. Uh, there's another shot of this one. I am really happy and I cannot wait to try these out just to see how they do. You know, maybe I can catch me a wall hanger. But these are phenomenal lures. I have always been, like I said, a fan of Rapala. And these are just really good basic and like good lure, bass lures for beginners. Because uh, more of your advanced people already have these in their tackle box but especially these two green colors but you know if you're trying to go out and don't want to spend a whole lot of money these are great alternatives uh this one i believe i paid five dollars for uh the rapala was a little bit more expensive i believe it was about 8.99 and then the strike king i believe that was also 5.99 also but you know if you're ready to get back out in fishing Let's go. These lures will do the trick. Uh, we're, and these lures will do the trick. Uh, they go from all depths all the way up. So whatever you're fishing, it does not matter. Especially this mad, I think. Golly, that's just sexy looking. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ugh. I'm just really happy about all these. I'm really... This one's just keeps drawing my eye because of the color and the painting on it. Like, it legitly looks like a bluegill. They actually, I don't know, let me get y'all a better close-up on it. They actually spent some time painting that thing. And it's so lifelike. So, yeah, I bet that one's going to be the trick this year. Uh, like I said, if y'all hadn't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on subscribe now but it, uh and always leave us a comment uh we're always open to suggested videos that y'all want to see uh and if you haven't checked out our field pup one sog review go check that out i will leave that I believe in this corner but go check that out and i will see y'all in the next video